Okay, so you'll want to see real-time analysis um, often of the most popular tweets on subjects that might interest you most instead of scrolling through everything um, in your Twitter feed every day. Um, Tim's use case actually lets you visualize your tweets um, via a Spotfire mobile analysis. You can just view the tweets that you need to see most. This is something that I, like, when I, when I first heard about uh, the creation of Simpler, I was so excited because this is something that, you know, these, it enables me to do the types of things that I've always wanted to be able to do with Spotfire. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and create a, um, a new flow here. So we're going to see it live. I'm going to create a new flow. And we are going to get information from Twitter. We'll just drag that here. I've already pre-connected this to my personal Twitter account. And then I'm going to say, I want to get all of the tweets that have been sent by a particular person. In this case, let's get it from our new president-elect. All right. <clears throat> and then I want to send that information over into Spotfire. And I've pre-connected my Spotfire cloud account as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just say get the data. Now let's, let's say go ahead and create a new Spotfire cloud account. The data should be from our Twitter action. And then we're going to say put this into example Trump tweet. I call this Trump tweet data. Okay. I'm going to call this then Trump tweets to Spotfire and save. So we've created a new, um, uh, a new action here, a new, uh, a new flow. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and run this. All right, it's testing here. All right, and it looks like it's sent 35 rows of data into Spotfire. And so I'm going to be able to go ahead to refresh my page here. It looks like I sent it here. Yep, Trump tweet data. So I click on that, and that's going to automatically bring me uh, open up a new Spotfire analysis that I can start editing and and uh, and working with this data. I happen to know that one of the um, uh, one of the things that comes through this data is going to be how many people have favorited something. So if I wanted to create a chart, let's say a bar chart. and say that the favorite count is what I want to see. And the individual, here, let's, we actually have to find out which data here is the actual string of the tweet. Text, maybe it's just the tweet text. Yep, that's it. And then I can put this in order. Let's just make it horizontal to make it a little bit easier to see. All right. So here, and you know, we've been able to very quickly see in the past 35 tweets that Donald Trump has, has, has put out 
which one has been the most favorited. And then if we wanted to say, um, analyze this data further, you could, there's a million things you can do with Spotfire um, to, with this kind of stuff. But this is something that I was never able to do because there was no way to get Twitter data into Spotfire before Simpler came around. Um, so in, if I wanted to then have this as a constantly up to date, um, you know, uh, thing, then I, I would be able to just set this to turn on automatically, just run all the time. All right, so I could set this to say run every five minutes or run on demand or whatever. Right now it's on demand. But if I wanted to say, let's do this repeating every five minutes. There it goes. Now that'll that'll run, that'll always be a data set of Twitter information that's always up to date. My analysis can, I can always just open that up, maybe even make a, a mobile KPI version, where if I wanted to see, show me my, my um, you know, my most popular tweets right now, which ones are working, which ones aren't, I'm able to just do that on the fly. So.